And I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit happy because it's just like, I have titties. <laughs> I have titties now. So... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a long awaited video. For the people that have been asking me for months, okay, and it is my boob update. How is my boobies? How have they been holding up? So I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see them. Um, oh my gosh. But yeah, these are my boobs, y'all. <laughs> So every, people have been asking me for like the past three months or so since I've got them. Because at this point, I got it in August, September, October, November, December, January. So I'm going to be five months January 13th because that was the day that I got I got mine August 13th. So I'm going to be five months then. Um, people, I know that I said that I was going to do like a one month and a three month and or whatever. Um, and I was kind of wanting to push this off until I got to six months, but I was just like, what? I might as well just do an update and I'll still do like a six or seventh month update and then I'll do like a one year update later. Um, the reason why I pushed off doing it because the reason why I pushed off doing it is because when I was very busy and then on top of that, I was just kind of going through the motions like up and down whether or not I wanted to, um, actually show you guys because a part of me wanted to go back and get them done over i was really just waiting for the three month mark to see how i like them i wasn't too sure if i wanted to keep this size i feel like after week two i kind of was able to actually see my breast for what it was going to be and i just felt like it was just a bit too small for my liking and what i initially wanted to get um and then oh excuse me and then soon after I started to notice that I feel like I feel like in the beginning when I first had it I feel like my breast didn't have as much swelling and it was kind of positioned well for it to just be fresh um, and then as they began to settle I feel like my natural breast um, kind of went back to its natural position and I still feel like the implant is like still up here so it kind of is giving me like a weird type of i don't know you guys could probably see it on this breast more because it's the breast that i see it more on um my breast kind of like my nipple on this one is right here whereas my nipple if you guys like it's not even like this is my nipple here and this is my nipple here so this breast is a little bit lower than this one um and even the way my breast falls my breast kind of falls over more here while it's sitting up here so i feel like maybe this one has gotten into position a little bit faster than this one they're still not fully where they're supposed to be according to the doctor so i'm just kind of just waiting it out to see how i like it um when it comes to size i definitely have kind of grown to just like this size i don't want anything too crazy or too big anyways because honestly i'm gonna have kids soon like i'm gonna have kids in the next like two years and when i have my kids i'll either one have bigger breasts and love them or they'll be too big and i'll want to get them done over so i'm like instead of me going through that process like three times i might as well just go through it twice um and just call it a day so some things that i've noticed um that i feel like i didn't get <clears throat> well actually let me just show you guys like a full profile of them this is the front the side move my hair so it is in shadow and this is the side as you guys can see like this one is lower right here compared to this one which is like right here this is my nipple here you guys get what I'm talking about here but naturally my one breast sat up higher than the other one so I feel like it's just more exaggerated my doctor had already told me that from the beginning that naturally one of my um uh, nipples sat lower than the other so when you have bigger breasts they're going to be more exa um, exaggerated because my breast was small it was very hard for me to even realize it but I noticed it um, when I was taking my photos that yeah some of the things that I noticed um, during these past five months that I feel like people did not talk about is that one when your nerves are reconnecting 
um, and like, you know, firing up, it's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. Like it literally feels like there's a, a freaking electricity bolt, like a lightning bolt through your tip. And sometimes it'll last for like a minute. Sometimes it'll be for like a quick second. Sometimes it'll be for like 30 seconds. There'll be times when I'm driving and I'm just like in excruciating pain and it's not like it's my implant. It's more so my nerves just coming back and reconnecting or whatever the case is. So uh, I didn't know any of that. Nobody ever told me about that. And also I was expecting me to like not have that much nipple sensation. But I didn't know it was going to take this long for it to come back. Okay. Um, I'm just now, like, at the five, my, five month mark, starting to get nipple sensation in both of my breasts. This I got it quicker in this one than I did in this one. And I'm just not starting to get feeling back here. But it's still not as um, much as this one. And I still have parts of my breasts where, like, this is, like, such a tingly, weird feeling. Because I don't really have sensation. But I do. But I don't. Like, right here. Like, it feels like... I'm scratching myself but I'm not as you guys can see I'm just literally touching my skin I'm just it's just a weird sensation because it's still kind of numb right there and the nerves are just kind of like I guess settling um, whereas right here I feel my breast fine but I, I, at one point like literally if I'll take like um, oil or something and I'll place it on my breast I'll feel it come down and then right here I don't feel anything at all as it falls and that was just such a such a weird experience because it's just like oh my god am I like not gonna have like nipple sensation ever I don't know and then on top of that I also feel like there's a heightened sensitivity um, around it like almost painful when um it gets hard or you know like if you're doing a do or whatever the case is and you know mouse are on it it's a very it's painful so i would not suggest <laughs> to get pregnant as soon like anywhere between like in the first year whatsoever of getting your breast done because your nipples are so sensitive you're literally going to be crying if your child is if you're breastfeeding because it's painful okay if you guys understand what i'm trying to say right now it's very painful so that was that um i feel like also as your breast drop it hurts <laughs> like as it's dropping you're also feeling some type of sensation and and pain as well um because they're starting to fluff out and your skin is stretching and stretching so like the first three months when people are like oh you're about to drop and fluff in like three to six a year or six months to a year that f dropping phase it's very it's not very painful it's not like unbearable pain but it definitely you definitely do feel pain every time your breasts start to drop and fluff out. Um, also, massages. I feel like anybody who has gotten their breasts done, they eventually start to slack with massages. I would always say just try to keep up with them. Anytime you remember like, oh, snap, I haven't done it, just try to you know do it as long as you can like three times a day twice a day once a day just try to do it as much as you possibly can because it is very important to keep up with your massages because your breast tissues is forming um like a protective tissue around the implant and you don't want that tissue to be hard so in order for, to one help your implant get go into place and to um prevent it from being hard you want to massage your breasts so i've definitely slacked on massaging my breasts honestly um you're supposed to kind of like squeeze it up and down like this um like for a minute on each side three times a day i've definitely slacked on it a lot because i've been very busy but i try to do it anytime that i remember and if i'm just at home doing nothing i'm literally just like this for like i don't know maybe an hour <laughs> so um i try to do it as much as i can also always try to make sure that you are wearing a supportive bra um this bra that i got during i'm actually gonna grab it so the bra that I got for my surgery, it has like ink and stuff on it because 
I mean, you guys can't really see it. It's just like a white bra. It didn't really, I felt like it didn't really support me as much as I thought that it would have. It has like a clasp in the front or whatever. When I first got my breasts done, I felt like it fit then. But after a while, I didn't feel like it supported or held my breasts where they were supposed to be. Where I feel like I seen a lot of people's um, videos and I felt like their bras were more supportive. So I got some from Amazon. It was like kind of like a sports bra, but it zips up in the front. Um, it comes with padding. I have two of these. I have a black well a gray like this a black one and a nude one and then a nude another gray like this and a purple one so they zip up in the front i just have like whatever i can grab which is i basically grabbed another gray one here but um it zips up in the front and it also does have padding in it um i believe that you guys saw it when i came home and it was like my one week update i had a similar one on i think it was the black one um and this i feel like definitely supports and holds my breast in place like it does what it needs to do okay um it definitely does hold it in place i feel like i feel so much more support i feel like you know when i'm going to sleep i don't really want my breasts to kind of move around because i'm scared of them like coming out of the pocket or settling outside of the pocket or where they're supposed to be so in order to keep it in place i wear this i do occasionally honestly it was probably like for like one month where i didn't consistently wear my bra um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but whenever I go out or sometimes if I'm just at home, I'll just go like a day without wearing it. But when I go to sleep, I'll try to always, always wear my um, sports bra. Um, but I haven't, I don't feel like I have any capsular, capsular contractions or anything. Um, and me laying on my sides has not affected the sides of my breast. It's not like they're you know gaping or gapping in anywhere or like being disformed um do they move yes they move they bounce a little bit like i feel like they're heavier now also oh my gosh let me talk about this and then i'll go into that one but um when i move them like this they definitely still like kind of like jiggle like it's still like my breast tissue over <laughs> over it so it still does move yes they are soft um i feel like the texture changes um but i oh i always try to be mindful of what it is that i'm feeling because if they start to get hard then that's a sign of capsular contraction but they have not been hard they're still soft i feel like for they were softer when i was massaging it consistently but um that's my fault that's not anybody else's fault that's my fault so that's why i say try to make sure that you massage them as much as possible because you do not want them to get hard um and I, what i was saying is is when i first got them i didn't feel like i had anything on my breast like it didn't feel like it was like a foreign object it didn't feel like oh like i have my breast done you know what i'm saying like i have something sitting on my chest i've never felt that feeling um it literally just felt like my natural breast like i didn't feel no size difference i didn't feel no heaviness or anything yesterday was the first time that i felt actual heaviness like i felt heaviness in my breast like it felt like it was a lot moving around and um today i'm pmsing a <laughs> baby um a little bit TMI but I feel like you know when you PMS your breasts swell and I feel like for the first time because I haven't had that much sensation for the first time I actually felt like this the the feeling of swollenness and I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit happy because it's just like I have titties <laughs> I have titties now so it's just like I actually feel like I have breasts like on my chest like I feel extra weight now um, I feel like the first couple of months I wasn't feeling that at all. Um, what else? Did I feel like a change of, of confidence or something? No. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's not like, oh, I didn't feel a, a, a change of confidence. I feel like I did, but I feel like what I expected myself to feel like, I don't feel like that. Like, I don't know if I felt like I was supposed to come in and be a whole brand new person like Cinderella. Like, I went from like rags and shags to a Cinderella dress. Like, I don't know what I was expecting to feel, and I didn't feel that. And to be honest, in the beginning, it really hit me hard. I remember I used to be like up crying, like, why did I do this? I wasted my money. I should have never did this. Like, you go through the motions. 
emotions okay the motions of the ocean um i was literally like crying like I, I hate this i regret it it's too small it's too this it's too that it's not even what i wanted and now i feel like i wasted my money i should have just kept what i had i was perfectly fine but i will be honest though I am happy with the decision that I made at this point because I do feel confident now like wearing dresses that fit both my upper and bottom body. That's all I really wanted. And just like I feel like I'm more of a woman. And honestly, I don't even wear clothes that's that revealing that shows my breast that much. I really did this for me. And I feel like I'm just like when I put on something, I was just like, oh shoot. Like when I put on certain dresses that I wore before, I'm like, dang, I got titties now. Like this, this can't even fit me right no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or it's just like, oh shit. So it's just like, imagine if I went bigger, I would have felt like abnormal. Um, but sometimes I do feel like now I kind of walk around. Instead, before I used to walk around like, oh, I have small titties. It is what it is. But I felt like I got away with a lot of shit because I'm just like, I have small titties. I could wear this with no bro and it is what it is. But now when I wear certain things, I'm like, dang, can they notice that I have like fake boobs? I don't want it to look like I have fake boobs or whatever. And that's why I didn't go with high profile because I did not I did not want the look of fake breasts. I wanted them to look like my natural breasts. And I'm pretty sure as they continue on settling, they're going to look more and more natural. I hope and pray that they do. Um because when I look at them in the mirror, they don't look as like perfect and perked up as they do like on camera and stuff. Like literally when I wear like certain shirts and stuff, like this is what you see, you get what I'm saying? And it doesn't look too fake in my opinion, um, as opposed to like something that's like up here like this, you get what I'm saying? So I feel like I am happy with the decision that I made. I truly do feel like me getting my breasts done made me appreciate my old body more because I'm someone who is very heavy at the bottom and I always get comments left and right about like, oh, you look like you went to Dr. Miami and you look like you did this and you look like you did that. And it's just like, bro, please pack it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there are people out there who are naturally built curvy at the body at the bottom or whatever if you guys see my mother you guys would know exactly who i got it from if you guys see my grand my grandmother my aunt from my father's side you will see that it runs in the family if you guys see my little sister like she's not hippie but she's busty and got body like you know what i'm saying like all of my siblings have a really nice shape and you can see like when they get older they're all gonna like emulate my mother my mother's body in some way shape or form so i've always get those comments and it's like it's funny at first but it's just like after a while kind of makes you self-conscious because you're just sitting there and it's just like you don't even want to wear something that shows your body too much because people are just going to think that you went and got your body done you get what i'm saying like it's hard to be confident in the skin that you're in because now people are making comments about it being fake and then when you go and get something fake like fake breasts it just automatically just makes them think like oh hell yeah she had to have gone to columbia or miami or whatever the case is you know what i mean and my body isn't perfect like my, I have, I have, you know how like your left side is, is different from your right? Like my right hip is different from my left hip. My left butt cheek is, right, is different than my right. Like my left breast is different than my whatever. Like I have like a very athletic like V cut in my stomach that I don't really like because I feel like it, it makes my dresses look really weird. I don't really like that area of my body. Like I'm insecure in certain places. And there's, I know there's a lot of people that would love to have my body shape but honestly i really just miss the way i used to look in high school when i was much slender when i was like 100 pounds and i had no titty no booty no hip no nothing i mean i always kind of had a booty that never that never changed for some reason like no matter how small i was i always had some type of booty but yeah um now i feel like it's more of when everybody sees me, they just automatically just think that I just had my body done, like from head to toe. And it's kind of frustrating because it's just like, I ain't never had to touch my body. And I didn't even have to do this, you get what I'm saying? Like, and if it wasn't for YouTube, nobody would even know that I got it. Cause I feel like it looks natural and I don't be out here just trying to show it for the whole world to see. Of course, in certain things and it's still very fresh, it's only five months in, it's not even six months in. Um, but yeah. I feel like that's the only type of like insecurity that actually came from it. Like I know I was supposed to have a new sense of confidence, but now I feel like I'm more conscious of my body because I feel like people will think like before I even got anything done, people thought that I did something to my body. And now that I got my, my breasts done, it looks more like I got something done to my body. And if I was to tell somebody like, Hey, 
I got my breasts done, they'll, without asking, they'll just automatically assume that I got my hips to my butt or whatever done. And it's just like, bro, y'all could literally scroll down to my very first photo on Instagram. It's it's like a photo of me in an all-white two-piece in Miami, and y'all see that booty poking. Y'all see them hips poking. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, I had weight fluctuating up and down and my body wasn't always a hundred percent and exactly where it's at right now i feel like if i have my body done and then somebody say it i'm not gonna care because you're gonna say it like it is what it is like i'm i look bad bitch you feel me but when you don't and people are always saying it like yes it's, it's kind of a compliment but at the same time it's just like oh my god like i don't want to hear it when you go somewhere you're thinking of like dang like does this show too much my body like is somebody gonna say something because i don't like attention i don't like to be the center of attention i don't want to be the one that everybody got their eyes on like i'm a naturally shy person so i don't want to be cat cold i like to wear sweats a lot because it doesn't show my body that much and even when i wear sweats the booty's still poking out some way somehow but I try to like cover my body as much as possible. The only time that I really just like step out is when I'm going out with my girls and we're all wearing dresses and stuff and then you know I want to be cute. But other than that like I try to hide my body. So I feel like it's brought an insecurity that was already an insecurity of mine but it's just heightened, it heightened that insecurity because of now that I have fake breasts. I don't feel like I'm going through any of those feelings that people were going through like what is it called breast implant Ill illness i don't feel like i'm going through anything knock on wood um i don't feel like i'm going through that and i hope that i don't experience that i feel like my body is accepting my implants um you know what i'm saying like you know you know what i mean like your body can reject it and they could either you know turn into a capsule contra contraction or turn into breast implant illness or whatever the case is so yeah um, I haven't experienced any symptoms of that um, anything that I've experienced has just been me and my own laziness but yeah I hope that this update helped anybody that was interested in knowing how they have been I feel like it's a pretty good size I will leave my stats as to what it is like what sizes I got and stuff down below um at this point I feel like it's a really good size for me right now um it is still small for me but I also have to realize what size my breast was before because before this baby like right here was like all flat like this was all flat i didn't have no nothing up here it was mainly just heavy down here so now i have like some volume you know what i mean so i'm happy about that um but yeah if you guys have any other questions that i did not answer in this video then let me know down below and i will try to answer that i hope that i touched on every point that i possibly can on this breast implant thing but it, i feel like it's not really much else that i could talk about because i feel like i talked about everything that i wanted to talk about um on this update and yeah i guess i'll see you guys and possibly i think i'll probably do like a seven month video or like an eight month or something like that um, i probably should have gave you guys another one month i mean a one month and a three month update for you guys to compare all of that but i still hope that this um video is informative to anybody and in no way shape or form am i advising anyone to go and get their breasts done honestly from my video i feel like yeah, I probably should just just keep the breasts that you got. Like, honestly, like I said, me getting this has made me appreciate my old breast. And I wish that I got out of my own head and didn't let my insecurities turn into what it turned into to the point where I could not... I, like, nobody was talking me out of getting my breasts done. Like, nobody was talking me out of it. And I wish that I didn't let my insecurity hold so much over my head to the point where I literally didn't think of anything else but like nobody was going to be able to do nothing to change my mind about it and i wish i was just able to just accept like my body or whatever i wish that i looked at more pictures of rihanna or something because Rih honestly rihanna was the reason why i did not get my breast for so long because i'm like Rih rihanna is like the baddest bitch and she ain't got nothing done to her body so if she could do it i could do it too because i'm bad too you feel me so i just wish that i just i never did it to be honest i don't regret it because at that moment that's exactly what i wanted to do but now sitting here i wish that i didn't do it but it's still not regret because i'm still happy with the decision that i made but i could have not did it and i still would have been happy because i wasn't like miserable insecure i I really just wanted it for to be able to wear a size six and it fits my top and bottom 
and not a size six that's comfortable on my booty but super loose and gappy on my breast or a size four that's a little bit too tight on my bottom and super gappy and loose on my top and a size two that fits here but does not fit my bottom so that was my main reason for getting it um if you guys have any questions um try to leave it down below or if you feel more comfortable just dming me on instagram i always try to answer my dms and check my dms but i literally have like five thousand um like request dms so it's kind of hard to try to like look through all of them but um just go ahead and just shoot me a dm and i'll try to answer it um and if it takes me a little while to get to it i will eventually get to it i literally respond to stuff that i got from like october or something now because i just had the time to finally like scroll through so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this um video a big like um comment down below on any questions concerns or anything about breast implants um, and all the information that you will need about what sizes I got, what doctor I went to, how long it's been since I've had it will be down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.